Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick uh, video for once again the uh, insider preview and um, to kind of talk a little bit about it because uh, I think you know some people don't understand what it means to be an insider and um, you know being an insider of course means that you have the latest and uh, the most features that Windows can bring to you uh, up to date and that a lot of insiders or a lot of tech enthusiasts you know that appeals to them because they say hey I'm gonna get the, the, the best and the greatest and um, but it has a dark side to it and um, I wanna talk about that also and also talk about how some people clearly don't understand what the insider program is about um, so of course you get the latest and the greatest of you know the Windows 10 features when you're in the fast ring of insiders but the thing is you also get bugs and that's why the insider program exists and there's too many people that still don't understand that I uh, still receive a regular amount of uh, comments in private messages from people that say hey um, you know I'm fed up with Windows 10 I have tons of problems and I can't do this and I can't do that and when you ask a few questions you actually find out that they're on the insider program and that they are installing this on the main PC and often the only PC they have and that's the problem uh, the problem is not with Windows 10 the problem is the fact that you should not have gone into the insider program the insider program is there to not only show features that you can test out and also comment about but it also has its share of bugs uh, you know if I look at my build 15002 three out of four times that I boot uh, I get this unresponsive action center here so I can't really see what's in here and what is the notifications it wants to tell me and maybe once out of uh, every two starts well you see the start menu doesn't pop up anymore I can right click and have still the you know and bypass all of that so it, it it doesn't mean I can't use my PC it still works okay it's just that I have to use an, another way of you know going through uh, 15,002 so if I want to go to the settings for example well of course uh, you can go through the settings by right clicking on the start menu even if it doesn't uh, respond the right click does and you can actually go to the settings and you can do pretty much everything and I mean um, in my case it's not a taskbar problem because if I click edge I'm still working and edge pops up and everything seems okay it really seems to be a more of an underlying issue with the way that the start menu and the pop-ups actually appear and work in the insider preview now I haven't had any green screens of death or anything but um, you know more and more uh, we see that people are um, actually talking about problems in this build and it's to expect you know first of all it's the build that has a lot of new features a lot of new features often rhymes with a lot of new problems also and you know that's that's the way it is in the insider program so um, you know you, sh you shouldn't be an insider if you're not ready to reinstall Windows you know I reinstalled Windows on this machine uh, two times this week because of 15,002 that didn't didn't seem to work right and uh, for various reasons so of course there's the traditional problems that Microsoft knows about and tells you when they release the build <coughs> but some of the problems apart from what I am uh, actually having as a problem uh, some of the problems that people are um, actually having with this build uh, some have bugs that the uh, taskbar freezes to a point where really there's nothing you can do so they can't even you know at, at least use the right click like I do to uh, get the menus and go to the different options they want to go to but that one is a little more serious so a lot of people are reporting this in this uh, 15,002 build also some people are reporting they reinstall and it it's okay after it uh, so you know I don't know it almost uh, makes me want to reinstall again I'm gonna wait for the uh, image file I might reinstall with the image file and see if it behaves in the same way um, some people are uh, talking about the uh, Windows Hello camera stuff that doesn't work well so if you have a, uh, a, a compatible webcam 
and it doesn't unlock the start screen or your computer well it's there's there's a problem there there's um, there's some broke broken scaling DPI settings curl, uh, scaling in uh, universal Windows platform apps that have been noted that that makes weird screens uh, frozen taskbar means you can't do much uh, some people have um, of course um, in my case you know not being open to uh, able to open the start menu also uh, many people who are warning that um, if they have a laptop and they close the lid computer goes to sleep and they uh, turn turn it back on afterwards it uh, doesn't work well uh, it, it seems to freeze even more of course um, there's also a few things uh, about green screens a lot of people are reporting green screens here and there some people have a five to ten minutes start menu freeze but if you wait the five to ten minutes it suddenly unfreezes and then you can log into your computer so all sorts of little things are happening here uh, in in this build and um, it's, it's very weird so um, you know a lot of people are, are trying to debug and doing a lot of uh, little things to try to uh, fix this and uh, they don't really have a lot of um, of problems. I see a lot of people saying that this version didn't install properly at all for some of you. Um, some people even unable. It rolls back all the time. Uh, edge crashes and opening a new in private session. I did see one thing is that I did have a crash of Edge while uh, activating the favorites bar but apart from that, uh, I haven't, you know, let's try a new in private window. And uh, seems to work fine here. So, you know, all sorts of little gizmos and problems, and this is to expect. Uh, anybody that thinks that th that shouldn't be doesn't understand at all uh, what the Insider program is about because it is meant to be a problem, to have problems so that we can actually find them and fix them before the official release. It's the basic um, reason why the Insider program exists. So, you know, hang in there. Um, there will be, of course, a new build release. Uh, the new builds will probably have some bug fixes in them uh, because a lot of people are reporting. I'm looking at the Insider feedback and the Insider feedback hub has tons and tons of uh, problems that show up uh, that are with this new build of Windows 10. And once again, just got to say, if you have only one computer at home, don't install an Insider build. If you have, if you want to install an Insider build, it's better to do it on a separate machine that's dedicated to that, like I do here. That means if something goes wrong, you, you won't be going crazy, your main computer still works. And remember, this is for a tech enthusiast that knows what he's doing. That means reinstalling Windows from scratch is a big possibility. That means you will have bugs that you have to deal with. So uh, that's very important. And as in Insider, I think you have to go and you know use the feedback to the feedback hub to actually express your problems so that Microsoft knows what's going on, that there are some things not working right. Uh, it's not just, you know, uh, for the fun of it. And also, I got to re restate this again and again. A lot of people are saying, hey, you know, uh, how can I have it full time? It has an expiry date. Remember one thing, if your PC didn't have a free offer to Windows 10, this Insider build is not a free ticket to Windows because once the expiry date goes, it goes. And yes, it updates its expiry date. You know, uh, I get a lot of questions every time. Saying, hey, it expires in, you know, in six months or in three months. Yeah, but as we get new builds, the expiry date goes further ahead. So the expiry date always moves ahead. Then finally you get a official version, which has no expiry date. When you're there, it's time to get off. Except if your PC was not registered to have a free copy of Windows 10, at all. Forget it. You're not getting a free copy. You'll still have at the official release an expiry date. That's because the Windows, your computer you're using, is not 
um, accepted as an official Windows 10 machine that um, could have a free version of Windows. So that's pretty much uh, what I have to say here. Hang in there, insiders. In, uh, ISO Built is about to be released in a few days. So you'll be able to uh, try a clean install. I might try that just to see what it does. And um, of course, you know, just wait for new builds. Uh, don't ask questions. You know, I don't answer questions about people saying I have this problem in Insider Build. I got that problem in Insider Build. My webcam stopped working. My driver graphics driver doesn't work, etc., etc. Uh, by the way, a number of you have mentioned that the uh, you can't play YouTube videos in Edge. I don't have that problem here, but um, interesting. So hang in there. New versions, new builds are coming up, and of course, we'll probably have a build in a week, um, maybe two. And uh, it's going to fix a ton of problems uh, in the Insider previews. And uh, that's, you know, the way it goes. That's the Insider program for you. And I'm sure some of you have tons of problems. Some of you have very little. I have a few of you that told me I got zero problems with this build. So, you know, you see, you see that it's all a question of hardware.